Hey guys, whether you're looking for an electric scooter to take you the last mile to work in the city, or to have fun with on the weekends, the market is flooded with affordable and durable electric scooter options. Some electric scooters are capable machines that can take you more than 20 miles on a single charge. There are many products available to choose best adult electric scooter. If you want to know about the price and other information, be sure to check my description. Number 1. Swagtron Swagger 5 Boost The Swagger 5 Boost is a welcomed upgrade to its predecessor, the Swagger 5 Elite, and replaces it on our list of best scooters. The motor is more powerful, going from 250 to 300 watts, but keeps its competitive price. The Boost has a solid build and feel, designed to support riders up to 320 pounds, while weighing just 26 pounds itself, great for walk-up apartments, or getting on and off mass transit. It easily folds, and unfolds with a single locking latch. The rated travel distance is 12 miles, expect this number to vary due to rider size, speed traveling, winds and terrain. That's not far, but fine for last mile commutes or riding to classes, and it charges in under 4 hours. There are 3 ride modes to choose from, and even cruise control though you'll need to connect a phone to the Boost via Bluetooth and use an iOS or Android app to toggle it on and off. The scooter has a rear mechanical disc brake, a bell and front and rear lights for safety and Swagtron even went so far as to include a cup holder. The ride on its two 8.5-inch honeycomb puncture-proof tires is decent, especially considering the lack of a suspension. Shocks would add to the weight and cost, though. The scooter's top speed is 18 miles per hour, dependent on rider size. Given the suggested user age of 12 years and up, larger heavier riders might not reach that speed, particularly on inclines. The scooter's deck is pretty narrow, making it easier to carry, but more difficult for riders with large feet to stand comfortably. The Boost has an IPX4 rating meaning it can survive a splash, but not be submerged in water. For small budgets and distances, this is the scooter for you. Number 2. Etwo GTSE so many electric scooters force riders to make compromises. A lightweight scooter usually means a smaller battery that results in slower speeds and shorter travel distances. Couple that with the five or six hours it takes to recharge, and that makes it hard to use on a continuous basis. Enter the Etwo GTSE, a 29-pound scooter with a top speed of 25 miles per hour that can charge up to 80% in 2.5 hours. The scooter supports riders up to 220 pounds with its 700-watt motor powered by a 504WH Samsung battery. During testing, it was able to travel about 15 miles before needing a charge. That's not far off from the company's 23-mile claim. Travel distances vary depending on rider size, style of riding, hills and wind conditions. The scooter is easy to fold down and has collapsible handlebars making its storage footprint very small. The handlebar height is adjustable for shorter or taller riders. Additionally, it has a spring in the deck and a small suspension in the front to ease some bumps out. The e GTSE is equipped with a headlight, electric horn, and three methods of braking, the regenerative motor, physical rear disc brake, and a rear foot spoiler brake. There's an app for iOS and Android too. Connect to the scooter's built-in Bluetooth, and the mobile app displays the speedometer and battery info and has the ability to toggle the lights on and off. There's also an alarm, if the scooter is moved, along with making noise, it will use the motor to slow its movement, if someone tries riding off on it. It's not the flashiest scooter I've seen, but is by far the best performing lightweight scooter I've tested. It's one of the most impressive ultra-portable last-mile scooters you'll find. Number 3, Inmotion S1 Electric Scooter. The Inmotion S1 is an exceptionally comfortable last-mile scooter. Coming in at $949, this responsive scooter has front and rear suspension, 10-inch puncture-proof pneumatic tubeless tires, and a handlebar height of 42 inches so there's less hunching over when you ride. It's powered by a single 500-watt brushless rear-wheel motor and can get up to speeds of 18.6 miles per hour. The rear motor positioning is great for minimizing some of the weight in the front when lifting on or off of a curb. If you are on the heavier side, the S1 gets noticeably slower on inclines. Inmotion rated the scooter to travel 59 miles before needing a charge. We found that to be closer to 20 to 25 miles from our testing. This always depends on travel speeds, rider size, and the terrain. 
the S1 ships with a single 63-volt charger and takes about 7 hours to replenish the 675WH battery. However, with two charge ports on the S1, that time can be cut in half with a second charger. One minor complaint, the small circular covers for the charge ports can be troublesome to close. It's extremely important to keep them covered when not charging to keep moisture out. The S1 has a dust and water rating of IP55 and the battery IP67. The S1 has a simple and clean design minimizing the multiple buttons you find on other scooters. It has a single multifunction button, long press to power on off, quick press to toggle the lights and double press to switch between eco, standard and sport modes. The LCD is bright enough to see in sunlight, and the illuminating blue ring around it gives it a futuristic look. The scooter has a durable industrial feel, somewhat like a rental. It weighs 53 pounds and can support riders up to 300 pounds, which is surprising for a scooter of this size. Most only support up to 220 pounds. It can also be folded down for carrying or storage. For safety, the S1 comes with front and rear lights. The rear light will come on when the lights are off and the brakes are applied and will brighten when on. The deck of the S1 has the same blue illumination as the ring around the display. The lights illuminate in the direction the handlebars are turned or, when the deck is leaning left or right, the side will flash in red like a turn signal. The lights are indicated on the display along with ride mode, battery level and bars and speed. There's a bell too, on the right side of the handlebar, above the throttle. It's an odd placement, but there's really nowhere else on the left for it. Lastly, something you don't see on a lot of scooters are side reflectors. With the deck lights on, the need is kind of moot, but it's good to have when the lights are off. The S1 also has an iOS and Android app that connects via Bluetooth where you can tweak some of the settings along with being able to turn the lights on and off and power the scooter off. You can also see the battery percentage travel range. There's even a social aspect, where you can post photos and follow other riders. Number 4, Gotraksk Max Ultra Electric Scooter. The $900 Gotraksk Max Ultra is the company's top-of-the-line commuter scooter. It boasts a 350-watt motor and a 36-volt, 17.5-ILG lithium-ion battery. Its 10-inch air-filled tires made rides more comfortable than expected considering it doesn't have a suspension. It took approximately 4 to 5 hours to charge. The scooter is a kick-and-go, meaning you kick to take off, and then use the well-placed thumb throttle on the right side of the handlebar to keep moving. It can hit a top speed of 20 miles per hour, and, according to Gotrax, you can get about 45 miles of travel between charges. In real-world usage, it was about half of that, which is still pretty good. This also depends on the rider's size, hills and wind conditions. It supports riders up to 220 pounds. On the left side of the handlebars is the power button, as well as plus and minus buttons. Hold the power button for 3 seconds to turn the scooter on and off. By default, the scooter requires a 3-digit passcode to turn on that is entered using the plus-minus buttons and the power button to confirm. This won't stop someone from pushing the scooter, but the passcode along with a built-in stainless steel cable and four-digit combination lock are nice to have for quickly locking it up. Plus, if you try to turn it on and roll it, the motors will slow its movement while making a beeping sound until the passcode is entered. Holding the minus button puts the scooter in walk mode. This gives you a 3 mile per hour power assist while you walk the scooter. Another nice feature, if the throttle is held for 10 seconds it enters cruise control, where the scooter will maintain its speed until the brakes or throttle are touched. It can also be used to change gears when combined with the plus button. The build quality of the scooter is very good and it weighs 46 pounds. I exceed the 220 pound limit and it moved effortlessly without any creaking underneath me, at least on level ground. Uphill was another story though it performed admirably uphill with someone under the weight limit. The rear disc brake worked great regardless of the rider's weight. A rear brake light illuminates when engaged, and there's an LED headlight with a reflector beneath it. The LED display on the scooter is clear and visible in direct sunlight. It provides information on current speed, battery level and total distance traveled. The scooter is rear-wheel drive. When riding, most of the weight is in the rear and this helps maintain traction. It also makes the front lighter when lifting on or off a curb. The scooter's design is clean and sleek, made from aluminum alloy A606, 
and has an IPX4 rating, which means you're safe from splashing water. It easily folded down for transport, and, since the handlebars lock from the side of the deck, it's impossible for the latch to come loose while carrying. When upright, the handlebars are at a perfect height. I didn't feel hunched over them, or pressure on my palms, and the steering column is steady and responsive. Number 5, Segway Ninebi Kick Scooter Max. The Segway Max is a reliable electric scooter that can take you very far. It's rated to go 40 miles on a full charge if you're driving slower and on flat ground, which is a bold claim by Segway. In real world conditions, I was able to go 7 miles on this electric vehicle, my daily commute, before working from home at top speed using 45% of the battery. That's still pretty good considering the scooter itself is rather hefty, weighing 41 pounds, and I frequently got it up to 18 miles per hour. The air-filled tires make for a more comfortable ride than the S-Series from Segway. One feature I really appreciated was the charging cable. It's a generic power cord with no brick, making it easy to carry around or replace. The 551 watt hour battery can be fully charged in 6 hours. To stop, electric kick scooter riders can just use the handbrake. There's also a bell built into the handlebar to alert pedestrians you're coming. And if you've got big feet, like I do, you'll love the long riding deck, which gave me plenty of room to get comfortable. That's all from my end. I make helpful videos daily, so do subscribe my channel. If you need more information, or if you want to know product price, do check out my description. For any kind of problem, please comment below. Stay updated with our cool products as it will make your life much more easier.